going to demonstrate the bottle knot, which is a simple way of attaching some cordage to a container, something like this. We'll start with a piece of cordage about this length. And I'm going to show three different ways, starting from simple to more complicated. First of all, you take one, let's say the one closest to you, you wrap it over the other one, and you make a simple overhand knot, like that. Straighten it out. Simple overhand knot. Now you take the other one, notice that this knot is tied onto this piece, so you take this piece and you tie it onto this piece. Notice that this part of the loop goes under and this part goes over, so you start here and you go under, over, and again a simple overhand knot. And now you have two overhand knots. And you straighten it out so that the crosses are opposite each other. This end is up, this end is down. Actually, it's the other way around. It goes like this. All right, so they look like mirror images. This comes around the top, around the top. This goes down the bottom, around the bottom. Two overhand knots. Then you just drag this one on top of this one. Simple. Now you have two overhand knots with the crossings on opposite sides. You get your bottle, set it here, and you pull tight. Now the cordage is attached to the bottle, and you've got the problem of loose ends. They are uneven, and it's going to be difficult to attach it to anything. Take this end, and simply tie it together any way you like. Take the long piece and drag it through the sh short piece like that. Open this up here, reach through, grab, pull through the loop. And now you have a self-adjusting knot or loop. And it's perfectly symmetrical and balanced. You can hang that on anything you like. Okay, that's step Technique number one. Undo it. And I'll show you another way that you typically will see demonstrated on the internet. Undo it all. Okay. Here, we can start with a, a loop instead of two open ends. Start from here with your loop. Twist it forward into two loops, like this. And now you have two loops, mirror images, and these strands are parallel. Now, you're going to cross one over the other so that you have an elliptical shape in the middle and then you're going to pull it a little bit tighter so that now you have these two ears you have this elliptical shape here and you have this triangle shape it sort of looks like a fish in the middle now here's where it gets complicated you take this piece here this piece here it's going to go under the cross and up through the elliptical piece, like this. And once it's through, then you flip these ears down, and now you have your double knots again. Just set it on top of here, and you're back to here. Through here. Through here. And up. And once again, everything is symmetrical. And when you want a real challenge, then I'll show you how to do it one-handed. This all off. <clears throat> now this gets very complicated and it's difficult to describe. 
and you're just going to have to sort of <clears throat> figure it out on your own. It's going to be difficult to demonstrate. But at any rate, you start from here, and you do this little maneuver here so that you get your two loops, as we said before. Two loops. Two loops. Remember those two loops? Now you divide your fingers into two groups. Two fingers over here and two fingers over here. Now you'll notice that these are crossed. So we have half of that little ellipsis in the middle. Then you use your finger and your thumb to come back and make the full ellipsis and your little triangular piece in the bottom. Then you have to reach around with your finger, pull that loop through with the other finger, come through the top, drop these two guys down, and you're back again to this. And if you take it off, loosen it up a little, lay it down, and unfold it, and you will see, uh, maybe you will see, nope, I blew that. We have to redo that, a double take. No worries, we'll just keep going. At any rate, if, if I did this, did this, did this, What I wanted to demonstrate, if you take it off of here, You can try and do redo that one handed again. Yeah. Okay. That's how you do it. <laughs>